Hey Zoomers, this is Elena. If you used to watch the show, you probably knew me as Shing. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and staying at home. Um, I know when we're all staying at home, we're probably cooking a lot more. I know that I am for sure. And so I thought it'd be a fun activity to recreate one of the recipes that I did on the show. It's one of my favorites. It's a super easy staple that you can make um, and serves as a great appetizer. So I'm gonna make bruschetta today. It's pretty easy, you only need a few ingredients. One is just uh, a loaf of bread. Any loaf of white bread will do. This is just a French baguette that I picked up from the store. Then you need some garlic, tomatoes, any type of tomato will do. Fresh basil, if you don't have fresh, you can also just use um, some dried basil, that also works as well. And then the staples of olive oil, salt, and pepper. So honestly, it's, it's pretty easy stuff to have and it's a pretty quick recipe to do. So I'll show you um, some of the steps to get that started. So first what you wanna do is just cut your bread. Uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate that too much because I think everyone knows how to slice bread, but I typically do mine in a diagonal manner just so you can get a bit more surface area of the bread to show. So you can cut out as many pieces of those as you want and then just get those lightly brown. You can either do that in the toaster or I actually put mine in the oven. Um, and I've got some of those just ready to go already toasted. So I'll lay those out there. Next, you want to just have your garlic, your tomatoes, and your basil ready to go. So on the garlic side, you can either do this one of two ways. You can either take a fresh clove of garlic and actually rub it directly on the bread. That'll be a little bit more subtle of a flavor. Or if you love garlic like me, you can just go all the way, mince it up, and spread it directly on. So through the magic of production, which is really just me chopping this up five minutes before doing this, um, I've got that garlic ready to go. So we're just gonna add a little bit or a lot, however much garlic you want, all the way throughout the surface of the bread and try to get it evenly distributed so you don't have a bite of pure garlic in one and, and just pure bread in the other. That's not fun for anyone. So the next step is just to add some of your tomatoes. So on the tomato side, you can cut these however size you want. Um, I like to cut them in quarters. So just something like this small pieces that you can easily spread out. And again, through the magic of production, how those ready to go too. So similarly, we're just gonna spread these across, get them evenly laid out. You can do as much or as little tomato as you want. I like to put a lot, so I'm gonna try to fit as many as I can without having them completely topple over. So we'll see how good of a, a balance I can get there. All right that's probably pushing the limits of before it starts to hide out. Great, so we've got the garlic in, the tomatoes in. The next step is just to add some fresh basil. Again, as I mentioned, you can use dried if that's all you have. So we're just gonna twist some off the top and I'm gonna cut this and mince it a little bit just so it's smaller and easier to spread. I found that the easiest way to do this with basil is try to roll it up almost and smush it into a tiny little ball. It makes it a little bit easier to start chopping it just to get that through. And I'm just gonna do a rough chop here, nothing crazy. This doesn't have to be super small, but just enough so that you don't have, you know, a massive leaf like this that you're biting into. So I'll give this a nice few quick chops. That's probably good. And then again, we'll just sprinkle some of this on top. I love the kind of flecks of green that this adds. It makes it really pop quite nicely. Also kind of looks like Christmas. So get that basil everywhere. And then the last step, this is super easy. We're just gonna add some salt, pepper, and olive oil to garnish. So here, just sprinkle a little bit on the top. Give it a little bit of flavor, some pepper, some olive oil. If you wanted to go really crazy, you could probably add a few other spices. Dried oregano would be nice. Um, parsley would probably work well. Really whatever spices you have on hand that you think would be yummy. So I've just gone ahead, add some olive oil at the end. I'm gonna stack these onto my serving plate. And you can see the finished product here ready to go. I'm gonna use this as an appetizer for some pasta that we're gonna have for dinner later. So we'll have a nice little uh, pre-appetizer, pre-pasta treat. Um, I hope you make this at home. It's super easy as you can see, the whole thing takes only a few minutes. 
and it's a really, really nice way to start the evening. So hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and thanks so much for watching. Take care.